hello everyone this is manoj and welcome to my youtube channel i hope you all are doing good and you and your family members are safe and you are taking good care of yourself so today's topic is typescript as you can see on my laptop screen today i'll discuss about how we can install and set up typescript with react application and how we'll use it with react app all right so today's we'll discuss about all these topics so first of all let's create a react application with typescript so this is the location and here i will create a new react app with typescript so let's open the command prompt and the command is npx create react app and the application name let's say typescript with react and then for the typescript template and then typescript hit enter so now it will create a new react application with all the required dependencies file and folders of typescript which we will use in our react application so it will take some time typescript is all about types right whatever you are giving like you are creating variables you are doing anything like you are creating event handlers or you are creating on change events you are creating click events so whatever you are doing using typescript so you have to specify a particular type of that particular event variable right so typescript is all about types without uh, giving any type you cannot use variables and event handlers or events in react application so without typescript you can declare anything because it will accept whatever you are giving but if you are using typescript then you must specify what kind of variable it is or what kind of event it is all right so after the installation of these dependencies and packages i'll discuss and show how we can use all these things in the application so all the installation has been done let's navigate to the folder this one typescript hyphen with hyphen react and now let's open this project in vs code So as you can see in this project especially with the typescript the file extension is tsx which means it is a typescript enabled file right in normal react application once you done with the installation so you will see the .js files right but in with the typescript you will always see .tsx let me open this file you can see and let me also open this app now in app.tsx it is the same as in the react application but the only difference is the extension so now here it is app.tsx file so let's open the terminal first and hit let's start the project npm start So we'll start a development server and we can see this particular code in our browser now the content is loaded now so till now nothing is different as compared with a normal react app a part of the extension all right now let's start with the typescript so let's create a component first let's give a name test.tsx and the first statement should be import react from react and let's create a functional component test and it will return a single div test 
and finally export is as default test so this is our tsx file which is in typescript mode and let's also create a model first model dot ts so here we will declare a interface basically in typescript we are using interfaces for type checking so export interface i props and this particular interface will contain two properties one is name of string type and let's say age of number type now go to test.tsx first we need to import that model so import i props from model and now we need to use that particular interface here so what is the way first we will create props and it will take a type of i props so what does it mean it means whatever properties it will get from another component or from the state it will only have these kind of properties i props like name and age now if i want to print let's say props dot now you can say all the properties are coming as intelligence because it is inheriting or it is using that particular interface which is in that model dot ts class all right so let's say name and props dot age all right so this is how we can use it and now if i want to let's say props dot name is equal to 1 so you can see it is giving a error because type number is not assignable to the type st string because this name is a type of string but we are passing integer or number so it is not accepting it so if i change it to number to string so now you can see error has gone so it is compatible with string so this is some type checking again if i props dot age equal if i want to give any string to it again it will start giving error because string is not assignable to the type of number let's say let me change it one two three and the name should be like manoj deshwa remove the extra this one so name is ages let's say 25 let's save this go to app.tsx let's import this test from test file i think the capital t and let's move this header part because we don't need this and let's use test let's save this now you can see test is giving some error because type curly brace is missing the following properties i props name and age what does it mean it means let's remove this this particular test.tsx component is expecting that particular interface or properties all right but here we only using it we didn't specify or assigned any interface like this like name and age 
and now if I provide the name let's say Manoj Deshwal and age oh, let's say one two three so now you can see all the errors has gone because we have given all the exact properties with the exact data type or you can say the exact type like name is string so we have given string and age is number so we have given number so let's save it and now go back to the browser you can see name is this and age is this so this is a simple type checking using TypeScript all right now let me tell you how we can use the interface with the third party API properties let's say there are a lot of third party APIs which are giving dummy data for testing so let me open any JSON yeah hey, this one so this particular website provide you dummy data for testing let's say let's open this user so you this user is having ID name username email address phone a lot of properties all right let's say we are using this API for our application so we are using hoax so let's declare use state and use effect so const users and set users because we are going to receive users data from our use state now for this particular state we will declare an interface let's go to the model and export interface i users all right let's make it u as capital so let's say it is having properties id which is of number type and name string username string user name string and email string and let's say phone phone string so these are five properties which we are you know supposed to get from the api response all right so go to the test.tsx and with the i props let's also get this i users interface now we need to tell this particular variable that this would be a type of this interface all right so how we can do that so here we can give i users and we have to give a array because it is a array all right and the initial state is blank so now let's use use effect to get the response from the api so we will use fetch the inbuilt api here we need to give the url the api endpoint dot then response response dot json and dot then result so first console the response whatever we are getting from the api 
first check in the console and finally catch if any error is coming so again we'll log it and finally pass the blank dependency so it will hit only one time so save the file go to the browser open the developer tools or you can say console go to the console so you can say we have received a array of 10 users as expected this response all right so let's remove this console.log and use set users paste it over there and now let me remove all these so first check if users and users dot length greater than zero then users dot map user h1 name user dot so you can see as I mentioned user dot so it will giving all these properties which we are having in that particular interface now it means whatever response we are getting from the API it doesn't matter only the properties which you have mentioned in the model we are only receiving those all right so you can see in the response we are having ID name username email address phone website company but we are only dealing with the required properties which we have already mentioned in that particular interface so let's say user dot name and email is user dot email and phone user dot phone and finally no data if we, did, we didn't receive any data from the API let's align this code so now we are done with the rendering part go to the browser you can see all the users has been printed as per the code which we have mentioned in the map like name email and phone so this is how we can use a TypeScript for type checking and you can say like how to use interfaces in our TypeScript or in React application. So you can see TypeScript it basically gives extra control over your code and it gives them more readability like see we have declared this interface having these properties. So that particular id field will only accept value with the number type it will not accept the type of string or string data so it will you know restrict or it will you know uh, give lesser chances to get errors or bugs or issues in the production environment so it will give you the more predictability readability and fast refactoring of your code so the more you will use a typescript the more you will get used to of this particular you know uh, framework or you can say the library in uh, react or in angular so for me i'm also 
you know learning type script from last two three months so i'm very much comfortable with that particular uh, library but and in the, in the initial phase you will face some uh, issues or uh, problems because like in normal react application we can declare anything in our application it will and it will accept everything but in using typescript we have a lot of restrictions but those restrictions will give you more control over your code and restrict a lot of bugs and errors in your production environment so i recommend you to learn or to use typescript in your daily code so that you will learn more about typescript and that is that is very very useful with your react application specifically all right so i hope this video gave you a little bit idea about typescript how we can declare variables how we can use state especially with the hooks and how we can uh, accept the response from an api and converting or casting into our own interface having our required variables all right so let me also tell you one more thing for example this id now these all are required fields all right but if you want that phone number should be optional then we can give a question mark so now this phone is optional if we don't provide value of phone number so it will not give us a error all right so this is a way to provide optional variables or properties so now these four are required properties and this is optional properties so this is all about today's video i hope you like it and if you did so hit the like button share comment and if if you haven't subscribed my channel go to my channel and subscribe it so that whenever i post this kind of videos so you will get the notification at the earliest and most important i need your support because i am creating these kind of videos for you people only so that you can learn and implement in your daily routine or in your office or in your you know uh, like uh, for uh, if you are learning a new uh, technology like react typescript dot uh, in interview question so i am doing this kind of videos every day so i need your need your support so please subscribe my channel and also you can follow me on my instagram handle you can find my instagram handle and twitter handle on my channel description so i'll see you in the next video thanks for the watching take care bye bye